Okay, so integrating Stripe payment into your Java EE application is quite simple. You have you embed the Stripe checkout uh, form into your JSF facelet file. When the user clicks it, you want to populate it using the JSF expression language. So your facelet files back in bin will contain the data, the charge, the amount, the currency, whatever you want to pass to Stripe. Your your payment uh, back in bin your your checkout backing bin will have that data and then you are going to use the expression language to get that data dynamically populate the form and then when the form is submitted by the user when the user fills in their credit card or debit card details the form will be submitted once they hit the pay button that detail will be sent to Stripe service and then Stripe service will return a token to you if that card is a valid card once the card passes Stripe's validation basic validation the token is returned to you. The token is a representation of the card detail that you sent, the user card detail that you sent to Stripe. Fine. So once you send that token to Stripe, once you send that detail to Stripe, Stripe returns a token to your application, and then that token will be appended to as a heading form to the form that you have in your facelet file. That facelet file will then be submitted to your backing bin. Then we used OmniFaces to actually grab that. We used OmniFaces to grab the Stripe token uh, parameter that was passed there, that was passed to our backing bin. We used OmniFaces to grab it. We injected and grabbed it. Then once we grabbed the Stripe token, we used the Stripe token to create a charge object, charge the customer's char uh, the credit card details or debit card. That was that is with Stripe, and then once payment succeeded, we direct the, the client to the the success page. So let's run through that workflow and see. So this is the checkout page. Let's hit the button to go to the checkout page, which will take us to the checkout page where we embed the Stripe, the the Stripe uh, API, the checkout API. So let's let's take a look at that. The the checkout page is here. And then we have embedded, this is it, the checkout page. We have embedded the Stripe API, checkout API here. It's a JavaScript, piece of JavaScript code. We have embedded it and we are setting some part of the data dynamically from the backing bin, which is the checkout bin. So once the form is, the user clicks the pay button, the detail of the card goes to Stripe. Stripe returns as a token which we grab here and then if we have a valid token then we charge the card so let's go and run through the motion again let's hit the button so our email again let's choose let's say ceo at sorry acme inc dot com then the card is 42 42 42 42 42 42 42 42 this is a sample card that Stripe gives us for testing. Good. Then the expiry date could be any time in January, any, any future date. So let's say January 20. The CVC could be any number, 365. The postal code, valid postal code. Now let's hit the pay button. If payment succeeds and everything goes to plan, we should be directed to the success page. So let's hit this. Then if it succeeds, it should be directed to the success page. Okay, so payment succeeded and we have been directed to the success page. Congratulations, you just integrated Stripe payment into your Java EE application. Next up, let's go to the Stripe da my Stripe dashboard and see if this payment actually reflects in my Stripe dashboard. Now, also important to remember is the, the email we use. We just use CEO at Acme Inc. So let's go to my Stripe dashboard and see if that payment is there.